at week four, I started feeling the sides pretty bad. Um, I was having trouble sleeping. I was having trouble with my appetite. It was really, really suppressed appetite. Um, sex drive just destroyed, gone, no libido at all. Hey kids, it's Mike from the Two Gaming Dudes giving you my SARMS review. All right. Um, I'm legally required to tell you that I am not your doctor and uh, don't try any of this shit without first consulting an endocrinologist. This is just for education. I did this experiment and it did not go as I had planned. SARMS, here we go. This is what I used from a brand called SAF, Swole Labs. I don't know if that's gonna focus, but I'll, I'll put a uh, thing up on it. It's, uh, it's a combination. It's a three-in-one. It's, uh, let's see, every day was 140 milligram, no, excuse me, 15 milligrams of Rad 140, 25 milligrams of NK 2866, and 20 milligrams of GW 501516. Um, one capsule in the morning, one in the evening. For those numbers. I started noticing results pretty much immediately. You'll feel it within day two or day three. You'll feel yourself getting stronger. And then you'll quickly start getting bigger. Um, and I'll put pictures and numbers up and dates and all that stuff. And then I'll give you a better alternative afterwards because it, it didn't do great for me. Uh, I was definitely getting bigger, definitely getting stronger. I put on uh, a few pounds. I'll put the pictures up. And then somewhere around week four, it was supposed to be eight weeks. I cut it off at week six, incidentally. Um, at week four, I started feeling the sides pretty bad. Um, I was having trouble sleeping. I was having trouble with my appetite. It was really, really suppressed appetite. Um, sex drive just destroyed, gone, no libido at all. Um, I pushed through and then I stopped making progress in week five. And then in week six, I completely wasn't making any progress and I just cut it entirely. Um, and I think a big reason, I think a big reason that I wasn't making any progress was my liver was so fucking inflamed, I could barely get down 1500 calories a day. It's no surprise that this stuff is hepatotoxic. I had no idea it was gonna hit me this bad. Bad, I'll put labs up too, mind you, these labs that I'm putting up were a month after I stopped taking it and loaded up on uh, some N-acetylcysteine, which is supposed to help with liver inflammation. A month later, you can see my liver enzymes are still, still high. Um, I'd hate to see what they were while I was on the damn cycle. And you can see, so I put on a few pounds um, and then just leveled out quickly. And at the point that you're not getting enough even maintenance calories in, at what point does this become counterproductive? For me, it was week five. I pushed another week, making no progress. And then at week six, I just couldn't deal with it anymore. This is real stuff. Uh, it's, it's not just cornstarch in a capsule. It's, it's a real chemical. But honestly, uh, listen, man, just go to your endocrinologist, get some blood work done and get some testosterone. I, I got much better results on just a small two, 300 milligrams a week of test with no side effects. Um, and it makes sense because your body's been producing testosterone since you were 14 years old. It knows exactly what to do with that stuff. This is lab Frankenstein shit. Everybody's body is different, of course. Uh, your biochemistry is gonna be different from anyone else's. You may behave differently, respond differently to it. That's great. Uh, I'm telling you, for me, it was 200 bucks down the toilet. Um, and time wasted, um, and possibly you know organ damage. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm back to normal now, but I, I don't see the benefit of this stuff at all. There's much better, much safer ways to go about it. That's just my two cents. If you disagree, that's fine. I'd love to hear a discussion, leave a comment, ask questions I, uh, I check pretty regularly. And of course, check out the other stupid videos that me and Charles do. That's all I got. I just wanted to put out a quick little uh, a quick little message. I won't say warning because I, I'm not going to endorse nor, uh, nor dissuade the use of this stuff, 
but it may not even be legal where you are. For me, it just it didn't didn't cut the mustard. Better ways to do it. So that's all. Click subscribe. Love you. Oh God.